So in today's episode of P-Dubs Arcade Loft, we're going to take a look at a new handheld game system product coming soon. Pre-orders available in July from a company called Panic for the new Playdate handheld black and white console. Okay guys, we're back and we're taking a look here at a recently revealed uh, new handheld game system with a black and white screen called the Playdate. Kind of a goofy name in my opinion, but it's called the Playdate and it's made by a company called Panic. Um, this particular product is going to have pre-orders available in July, and it's got a black and white screen. You guys may have noticed that right here in this video, as well as a bunch of games are flashing on the screen that you may not have heard of. Now, on this website link is a nice video. Uh, it's about a 15 minute long video, but I'm going to try and sum up a lot of the key points for you guys if this is a product you're interested in. But I do encourage you to go check out their website as well as this YouTube video discussing this product and the type of games available if this interests you. Kind of funny, at first glance, I thought this was some kind of Tiger Electronic looking toy. We might not be that far off, but then again, those were LCD type screens. You know what I mean. Uh, these are obviously animated screens that are black and white playing a bunch of different games. Take a look at this. I mean, that's kind of interesting, kind of cool looking playing games like this. Uh, but let's kind of take a look here. So <clears throat> looking at the system, it does have the black and white screen, does have Wi-Fi for downloading <clears throat> downloading games, which we'll get into, does have Bluetooth capability and a very loud loudspeaker, but it's a mono speaker. And when you're not using the product, it does become a clock when it's not in use. As you can see here, it's definitely a handheld device, very small in the hand, definitely doesn't look to be large. Does have a crank on the side if you're wondering what this thing is. What is that crank? Well, that crank is actually, it flips out and that actually becomes a little control stick. So let's see here. It says it becomes an analog controller that flips out from the side. So does it do anything else? Is it a gimmick? Does it charge the battery? No, just all that kind of stuff. Now, what's interesting is when the system is released, it's going to come with 24 games. So your purchase will include 24 games for free. But here's what I find interesting is you're not going to have the games immediately. They're going to give you two games via download for 12 weeks. So you got to wait three months to get your hands on all 24 games. As you can see here, you can't really judge a book by its cover, but taking a look at the covers here, some of these look kind of interesting, like Demon Quest 85, Flipper Lifter, Lost Your Marbles, some of these, <laughs> Sasquatchers, some of these look kind of cute and adorable, but I'll be honest, none of these are games I've ever heard of, or things of that nature, so... What they're doing is they're lining up indie developers. So, for instance, if you are an indie developer, you'll be able to make your own games and get them on the system. These games will be free to download, no special hardware required. And with their Pulp Game Maker, all you need is a web browser, and you can go ahead and create your own games, sideload your, side your own games onto the play date. And, of course, there's links for the developer website. Again, this is going to be $179.00 gets you the system and 24 free games, but it's going to take you three months to get those games. And it says here also it's going to have a Playdate stereo dock, which is this right here. It says coming soon, no separate price. I'm assuming this is part of the bundle that you're not just getting the system for 179 I think this comes with it, hopefully, because if it's 179 just for this, I'd be concerned. Uh, but if it is not separate, if it's part of the bundle, that's cool. If it is separate, that kind of stinks. But it, it's kind of cute looking, makes it look like a little television set. And of course, it'll charge the system when you're in it. Now, this separate covers 30 bucks available separately. And they did give us these specs. It's going to have 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, 16 megabytes RAM, 32 kilobytes cache, 4 gil 4 gigabytes flash when it comes to the storage you do have your d-pad you do have a sleep and menu button and you do have the three access accelerometer clank so you have your ba your d-pad and that's probably your sleep menu and power button right there and then of course you have the crank which turns into uh, a little joy uh, joystick and then, of course, it comes with the USB cables and all that kind of stuff. Definitely a small desk. This is uh, desk stuff, as Michael B. the Game Genie would say. 
and it's just something cute to put on your desk and maybe play from time to time. Panic themselves have been in business since 1999. They've made a bunch of Mac software. As a PC user, I'm not a Mac user. I'm not familiar with them at all or any of these games. If you are familiar with them, please let me know in the comments below and all that good stuff. So you can, I'll have links for all this if you want to sign up. In my opinion, am I excited about this? No. Do I find it interesting? Yeah, kind of. I mean, black and white games, I mean, man, that's just old school looking. Might be something to pull out and play every once in a while. Is this something that I'm super, super excited and enthusiastic about? No, but it just goes to show you all the different stuff we're going to be seeing um, this week coming out from all kinds of gaming companies as the week of E3 is uh, kind of underway. It started already. Let me know what you guys think of this thing. I want to get your honest feedback and opinions below. Are you guys excited about this? Do you guys find this interesting at all? And is this the kind of stuff you want to play? Definitely give me those thoughts and feedback below. Do me a favor, guys. If you enjoyed the quick news update, give me a thumbs up on the way out. And as always, thank you for subscribing.